Uh, hi and uh, welcome to the next video on uh, Linux device drivers training. So in this video I'm going to talk about um, you know module parameters. So so like we have seen the um, you know the application programs wherein we write some small C code and uh, the main taking some parameters. So on uh, similar lines we can also have uh, parameters being passed to kernel modules like. So what we will do is uh, you know let's clean up what we did from the uh, you know the previous video so I'm just going to clean this modules and um, we'll do the usual steps so I'm just going to copy this uh, example 01 simple module dot C as example 06 module params param dot C okay let's open this file example 06 uh, <coughs> module param dot C and we'll do the usual stuff that's basically re replace uh, the example 01 to example 06 to keep the names in sync with the file name and what we will do is um, so I'm just going to introduce a global variable here so I'll just call it as int count okay, which is equal to let's say 1 okay. now what I will do in the module init function is so I'm just going to put a variable called index is equal to 0 and uh, we'll press small for loop here for index is equal to 0 and index less than count index plus plus so I just want to put a small print which reads uh, print k kern alert hello world percentage d index is equal to percentage d okay just gonna put this and put the index here okay okay so the objective is uh, you know like I want to have this count which is a global variable here uh, passed as a module parameter <coughs> And then uh, based on uh, you know the value of count we're going to run this loop a number of times and then we would have this hello world message being printed okay now notice that the module init function so which is uh, called when the module is initialized it doesn't take any parameters so it is a void function I mean taking a void function like okay so in order to say that and um, you know, I would like to make a particular global variable uh, module parameter you have to include a file called linux slash module param dot h okay, this is an include file and you have a macro called module underscore param so which takes the takes three parameters the first parameter is the variable that you would like to make make it as a module parameter the type of the variable so it's going to be an integer in this type and the last one is a permission field so which I'm going to keep it as zero for the time being okay now let's so that's that's it so this is how you would define a module parameter like so just put a module param uh, uh, macro and then you pass the three things the name of the variable that you want to make a module parameter the type of the variable and then the the last field which is a permission field like. let's save this file open the make file and uh, put a rule for compiling this file obj colon equal to example 06 module param dot o okay now let's build this module okay. modules okay so we we have our um, you know example 06 module param.ko file created so what i'll do is i'll do a sudo of tail minus f var log syslog i'm going to open another terminal here so let me small, you know, reduce the size of this terminal so what we have here is on the top right corner I have a terminal where I'm, where I'm going to do this in mode and all that and on the background you have this uh, terminal which is running the tail minus f command on the var log this log file link. so when I do a sudo in mode of example 06 ko so you would see just one print coming there so which is inside the simple uh, module in it and then it says hello world index is equal to zero and that is because so if you 
open the file not C. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it keep the file you know at the bottom bottom right of the screen is our source code like so what you notice is you know like uh, we have a count variable which is a global variable which is initialized to one and since when we did this in smart here on the on the well, I'm just move to the I'm just moving this terminal to the bottom left because it seems to be getting mixed up with the output there so when you did the insmod command for this particular module so you haven't passed the module parameter and since you have not passed the module parameter the parameter takes a default value and the default value is what we have initialized in the source code which is nothing but one so now what we will do is let's remove this module you know from the kernel space and then do a sudo insmod example 06 model param ko and say count is equal to 5. Notice that the the name that you give here that is the count variable here should be exactly the same name as what you've given in your code I mean the, the module parameters code. Okay. Now when I execute this command you would notice that the hello world print got printed five times so because our count was set to 5. You can remove this module like okay now just to summarize so module parameters can be added to kernel modules you know, by using the module param keyword one point to be noted is it is optional to pass a module parameter hence you have to you know like uh, have the module parameters initialized to some default values like, don't leave them uninitialized because it is likely to create some problems like. okay now let's discuss about the third field in model param so which we have uh, set it to zero like so the so before i discuss this third field so what i would like to do is i would like to copy this print from the uh, module init function and have it also printed in the module exit function okay and instead of saying hello world let's put something else goodbye or something like that okay now what we have is we have the loop running in two places so the, the basically the print loop running in two places which is basically the module init function and the module exit function and so I'm gonna put this um, the permission field as 644 now this is an octal notation so if you're familiar with the Unix uh, permission command permission uh, uh, field so the first six says uh, the creator of this file gets both read and write access and the others in the group get only the read access and everybody others you know who are not belonging to this group gets only the read access so that's it so i'm just going to save this file so i'm going to build it again i'm just doing it in the terminal which is on the bottom left so i'm just keeping this um, uh, tail command still running in the background like I hope you're able to differentiate these two terminals here okay so I'm running my command in uh, this terminal on the top right okay when I do a sudo in smod of example 06 cable with the count I'm not going to give any parameters here so I just give it like this so we see this hello world print coming once which is expected because we have not passed any variable like I want you to notice what happened because of the uh, the permission field that we have set. So I'm going to do an ls-l of uh, you know, sys module example 06 param parameters count. Okay. Now if you see this, let's maximize this. You know till we discuss this. So if you see this output here, so now you see a variable count which is basically present in this directory sys module example 06 module parameter which happens to be our module name and the parameters for that module and the count variable like now this is a permission field that i was talking about like so as a user you get both read write access everybody else in the group gets read access and everybody everybody else who don't even belong to this group get only the read access like so you have this count variable which is present here like i can just check what is the value in the count variable and you do a count and it says one which is expected because we didn't pass any 
value to the count uh, argument and then uh, you know it took the default value like now the advantage of giving the last parameter as I mean the last parameter in module param as non zero is you get this entry created here and if you would like to change the value of the module parameter after the module has been inserted so this is the place to do it so what I will do is I'll just say an echo of 5 and then sudo p sys module example 06 parameters count okay now I just display count again so it says the value is 5 because we just altered it with the echo command like now remember that in our code so we have you know this uh, count as a global variable and then we had this um, the loop running for count times in the module in it so when the module got inserted into the kernel space since count was one we saw the hello world print coming once now while the module is still in the kernel space that is before you could do an rm mod so what we did is we have changed the value of count you now by modifying the sys module entry like now when you do an rm mod so I'm just running the command in the top right terminal sudo rm mod of example 06 so you notice that the goodbye print came five times that's because we changed the value of count after the module was loaded into the kernel space okay so just to do a recap so module param is the macro to be used for exporting a global variable as a module parameter and um, it takes three parameters the first parameter is the variable itself the second one is the type of the variable and the third and last field is basically the permission so if you give a zero value here you would it basically means you don't want to change this module variable after the module has been loaded into kernel space and if you give a non-zero value here which is typically 644 and in octal you are basically indicating that you allow the user to change the value of this parameter after the module is loaded into kernel space okay so that's about uh, module parameters so i'm just going to stop this video here thank you for watching and we'll again discuss some other topic in the next video thank you